Microsoft closed some sales trainers, might call it the, the trial close, right? So you know, we're in the application. We got the three plans we're gonna go over, right? The face amounts, the premium, and that's a really important place to have some confidence and, and the correct verbiage. So, so Jen's gonna take it from there. All right, so I've gone through all the process. I've actually given them some amounts. I typically like to write like four, but usually three would be the max. And what I like to do is before doing all that, I like to ask them, what do they want this plan to do for them? Do they want it to just pay for the funeral service or the cremation? Do they want it to pay for the uh, funeral service, cremation, and leave some money behind? Or do they just want to leave some money behind? Their stuff's all taken. What, what would you like your plan to do for you? So after they've told me, I have a better idea of what they're actually looking for. Okay. So, Mr. Jones, you're actually looking for money to pay for the whole funeral. Does your funeral consist of like an open casket, a service? Uh, are you just doing a closed casket straight to the graveside service? What does that look like to you? So I'm getting that information. I'm like, okay, so great. So you wanna make sure you have enough to take care of all your funeral arrangements. So I know exactly what that means. That means that a funeral is gonna range anywhere between 6,500 to 7,500, easily taking care of everything. Casket, headstone, vault, service, embalming, um, sometimes a repass and a plot. So when I give them, I have an idea, so I'm gonna get those three plans and I always write them down. And I, yeah. So what I do is uh, after I give them the three plans, out of these three plans, which one do you feel most comfortable with? Explain the plans. Go, go over the plans. Okay. The plans. Yeah. So here I have um, ten. I have. So I'll start with a you know ten thousand natural, twenty accidental, and it's locked in at forty five eighty. Okay. I have a eight thousand five hundred natural, uh, sixteen thousand accidental, again thirty something, and then I have a seven thousand five hundred natural, fifteen accidental, and that one's going to be twenty eight thirty. Now this one's going to leave a little bit of money behind because it has you know it's a bigger amount. The 8,500 could quite possibly leave a little bit extra change behind, but not a whole lot. And the 7,500 will be taking care of everything. It's gonna pay for all of your expenses. And now of these three plans, which one do you feel most comfortable with? And I'll just shut up. Don't say nothing. Because the first person that speaks is the one that wins. Loses. Loses, Loses. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, they're gonna win because they're gonna get a policy.